afraid we won't bite it. So, well, Mr. Burke, uh, why do you begin your comments with a, uh, a personal attack against a fellow Republican? I find that offensive. Uh, it's not an attack to tell the truth. That's why I did it. So, at you as voters, you deserve to get clarity on the candidate's level of integrity, and I think it's topical if you're creating endorsements that don't exist. If you disagree with that, I'm sorry, but I think it's very topical because we are going to be facing Jay Inslee. And this debate, and this primary is about picking the person that can defeat, defeat Jay Inslee. And they will eat us alive like Dave Riker did Darcy Berger for making up her college degree. We don't want that type of thing coming out the day before the election. We want it coming out right now. You know, the only way I can respond to that is the way I did before. I have signed documents on all of my endorsements. Um, Where can we view them? Pardon? Where can we view them? Where can you view them? I uh, don't normally publish those. If you want to get a specific uh, endorsement, uh, go ahead and sign up at my table. I'll be happy to send you the ones that uh, Matthew has specifically mentioned. Right, another question for the audience. Yes, sir, in the back, right there. Uh, what is your position on so-called green energy? Ethanol, wind power, <clears throat> solar? The position on green energy, solar, wind power, and ethanol. So the, the idea on green power is really uh, you know, kind of nice. Unfortunately, it really doesn't work well. Uh, they've tried solar power in uh, Spain, and it's cost 2.2 jobs for every green job created. Uh, they've tried uh, wind power in various places, and it ends up being very expensive and very difficult technology. Now, that is not to say I'm not for developing that, but I believe that should be developed in the private sector. The green energy that I like, I like nuclear, which I believe is a green energy. I love hydro, which we have an abundance here in the Northwest. Uh, but they, uh, in a lot of their calculations, don't count that as a renewable resource, uh, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I think what we need to do for our own energy independence is to create as many energy sources as we can possibly create. We need to tap our own resources of, of cleaner burning natural gas. We have a 100-year supply right now in the ground that we can get out using various technologies. We need to implement nuclear. We need to let the private sector do what the private sector does and create some of these really interesting new technologies. Have you guys heard of the Bloom Box? Anybody? Look, look at, do, do a Bing search for Bloom Box. It's a company in California. They got $400 million of venture funding. And they have created a really interesting, uh, essentially a big battery that they can power using uh, natural gas and other cleaner burning fuels. It saves energy, it saves money, it's a great thing. Private sector. That's an important issue and it's also important because Jay Inslee is a one trick pony and other than throwing money at every problem that exists or doesn't exist, green, en green energy or a green economy like the one that gave Spain 20% unemployment is what he's for here. Um, I'm not for copying Spain. I don't think it's helped their economy at all. I'm for clean energy, and I think the best way to accomplish that is through the free markets. We have been subsidizing wind farm technology since the 1970s under Jimmy Carter. And what has it done? Billions and billions and billions of dollars completely wasted. And that money could have been redirected into something more, more useful. So when the government subsidizes something, quality goes down and cost goes up. If we think about it, there's no incentive for anybody to stop doing research when they're receiving millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of research every year. And that's why a lot of these phony emails came out in the scandal called Climate Gate. These people were cooking the science because they don't want to cut off their funding. So like most things, if the free market gets in there and the government gets out of there, energy will be cheaper, cleaner, and more affordable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
power, because I was talking about this with a friend of mine the other day. Let's remember that wind power is what they used to propel ships at the time of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Somehow, I don't quite think that's progress going back 2,000 years. So anyway, I just that's me. And they say it kills birds now. So that that's right. Yeah. And it blocks the view of hoity-toity liberals in Hyannisport <laughs> and uh, there in Massachusetts. We can't build the farms where the Kennedys can't see the water. <laughs>